What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to start heading over to the shop where we're going to start getting busy on the speed density supercharged build that we're going to do. I get it. I'm a turbo guy. Dan, where's the black car? Dan, where's the white car? Guys, I'm just waiting on parts. Just a little bit bored, so we're vlogging up something a little different. Cooking up a little horsepower from the 90s. We're going to go over and get our fingers dirty. Let's get into it. So let's get popping on this thing. All right, so we're getting ready to start tearing into this thing. Uh, as you can see, speed density set up. A um, couple things that I didn't mention before is I got to pop that pan. I got to put a drain in it. As you can see in this other motor, there's a drain from the Vortec. It's not a self-contained unit like the SCs are. So, gotta have a drain just like the turbo. And a feed. You got my whole kit here that I took off the other day. You know, you got the hose for the radiator because that's gotta be bypassed around the head unit. I took most of this bracket off by itself, which is pretty dope. So, um, I think I'm gonna have to drill a hole for the tensioner and move it. So it goes uh, tensions up instead of down. Somebody mentioned in the other video about the boost retard button, etc. You know, there was one. I didn't mention it in my video and I didn't mean to forget it, but there she have. Our main goal today in this video is to start popping some of these parts off and maybe get to the point to where I can get that bracket put on and let's get started let's just stop talking i've already got this alternator bracket loose but you know that's just a turnbuckle from freaking tractor supply bro <laughs> that's awesome anyway i already see a problem i'm gonna have right off the jump i'm gonna go ahead and sneak y'all down here you can see that crank pulley is really close to that fan so i'm gonna have to put this vortex pulley on take the crank pulley off and put this on together at one time that's gonna suck but whatever. I'm also gonna lose a little bit of antifreeze, make a little bit of a mess because I gotta put that, that hose on. Nice thing is, is since I'm not putting the head unit on just yet, I can go ahead and leave this on here. And as you can see, I changed, I relocated my air charge temp sensor. Get a little cooler charge, a little sneaky trick. I would film most of the work of me doing the work, but you know, it would probably get super boring and you guys would probably hate it but anyways we got to the we got this made a little bit of a mess but we got the supper radiator hose ready um right now i'm fighting this bracket actually in my millions of bolts that i have here's a bunch of timing chain and water pump found a couple good candidates to put in its place because this one's actually one of the mounting bolts that are on the bracket right here and this one as well so i'm going to be removing these two but i don't want to get a water leak here so i got my two stock ones ready five ace i'm gonna take one at a time off move it up and tighten it down should be all right then we should be able to mount this bracket i went ahead and mounted the alternator and try to do the the tensioner kind of a different way we'll see what happens i think i'm gonna go ahead and call it quits there for the evening call it call it a day we got the bracket mounted i guess i will have to run this pulley because now that i'm thinking about it the geometry of that belt's got to go over top of that water pump pulley um probably have to go to a smaller water pump pulley because the tensioner is going to probably come down too far on the belt it's now going to keep in mind that this old system was meant to run with a smog because that's where the smog would be and an ac unit so 
I'm going to have to try to manipulate since I'm running the Ford Racing bracket that brings the power steering pump up and deletes the AC. Because you know we're in Ohio, it don't stop raining and snowing. So I ain't got to worry about AC. Anyway, I guess I'm going to have to run this pulley to run over across of that for this tensioner. But I'm going to have to let this tensioner sit overnight with some WD. Because uh, this thing didn't want to come off. So what I was thinking about doing was taking this tensioner and drilling another hole to where my set, you know, the set, the set uh, little stud on the back of the tensioner down here, bring his tensioner up a little bit, kind of aim it up where it tensions down more so I can put a nice tight belt on here. So I'm going to modify this system to work on an AC deleted stock motor or whatever. So, and I think I'm going to run this charge pipe with the Vortec instead of running that plastic tube crap that they got because I'm pretty sure I can get this to, to turn right into the supercharger and I won't even have to take that sensor out. So, we'll go give it another hit tomorrow. Um, I'll have a majority of this bolted up by then. And then I'll start messing with the FMU and putting the uh, oil pan drain. One thing to keep in mind though, I think this car's got a 255 pump in the back. So I may end up just deleting the T-Rex altogether because I'm gonna be honest with y'all, running uh, two, two pumps might not be efficient because if one goes out and the other one gets a lean condition, they go boom, right? I'd rather just one pump go out or the car just not run. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, we're back at it again this morning. Uh, it's early afternoon. Today's the day before Memorial Day. I'd like to get the car running so I could actually take it to the beach, maybe go hang out with a couple of my friends or whatever. So our goal today is to get this water pump pulley off because this is the bigger aftermarket one. I'm gonna put the factory three inch one in. I think it's three or three and a half, I can't remember. It's smaller, I'm gonna need that because the belt travel here is gonna be tight. And I'm gonna actually make, I'm actually gonna drill some, some new holes here so I can multi adjust this. This goes on the bracket. I think I need this tensioner to come up another angle uh, because the belt's got to, we're gonna have to muscle this belt on. I mean, this is old school stuff, man. This is 90s stuff, figuring this stuff out again. But you know, the belt's gonna go from this pulley to here and then there's gonna go right over top of the pulley the water pump pulley is going to be tight so i need that tensioner up here pulling down on it. it's going to be close to the water pump pulley like it was last time but that's okay i'm all right with that i'll probably get the crank pulley set up and then i'm going to try to get the belt and i'll get the car actually running today again all right a little update of what we got going on i actually had to pull the fan out this is a taurus fan that i had mounted in here on a uh key on switch uh like i said guys when we put dad's car together several years ago there was zero f's given bro so we just, you know, the best part about it is it was just like the black car for all these years. It's just like it always did what I asked it to do. So, you know, don't always overthink getting too many good parts for it. Just, you know, send it, you know, put stuff together. Anyways, as you can see, I had to go all the way down to the crank pulley. Had to pull the fan out of the way because it was, you know, I couldn't get the bolts from this. So what I'm actually going to do here is <laughs> I'm actually going to switch back to the factory <clears throat> six inch um, crank pulley with this and use the Vortec bolts. And I'm gonna switch back to the, I think it's four and a half inch water pump pulley. That one was five and a quarter. And that way it's smaller. That way the belt travels here. I can muscle it on, change the location of the tensioner to come down and keep it tensioned and not hit the water pump pulley. Actually see if it's gonna work, charge, pump water, all that stuff. And then I'll worry about putting the head unit on um, and getting everything kind of hooked up. That includes the check valve, the drain, the feed, and the water pump, or excuse me, the fuel pump, and the fuel pump in the rear. Like I said, I'm not going to run T-Rex. I'm going to run like a 255 or a 340, and you know, that way if the, the fuel pump fails, it just shuts off. All right, so I ended up getting, just pulling a nice crank pulley that I saw on eBay. You know, it's the E41 you can see right there. This is the stock crank pulley and the water pump pulley. This is the uh, E1ZE should be, yep. Now, if you ever find a water pump pulley that's F3, that's a Cobra pulley and it's bigger. And that should be matched with the crank because it's smaller. Just so you guys know. I think it's smaller. Anyway, let's get these things mounted on this so I can start finishing up this project. And throw some thread lock on them. Come all the way through. And then I'm going to mount it. Right on the crank. Or on the harmonic balancer. So that's how this works. So the supercharge pulley, the I'm sorry, the idler, the supercharge head unit, 
and these two coordinate with with this with this idler now the nice thing about the front accessories is it still uses the the crank the old school crank pulley so i'll be able to drive this car with no head unit on it and test out you know make sure it doesn't get hot and make sure it doesn't uh you know it's getting charged and stuff nothing's slipping got all the pulleys lined up everything's tight i can start i could probably put my fan back but i'm going to try to address why this radiator is crooked my next move is to take the tensioner over to the vise, get it off, so I can go ahead and drill. I'm going to drill little slot holes. Y'all like my knuckle busting, right? Anyways, I'm going to drill little slot holes so I can adjust this accordingly. So I'll probably drill one up, two up, and the, and the other way too. So it's got like five holes. So if I ever sell the kit, somebody's got plenty of, you know, plenty of ways to adjust got the run to advanced auto parts i need to get the zip tie things that i actually zip tied this to the radiator and you can see i need to get a belt what i did was is i made another notch as you can see i cut another hole for this blower this this unit i could use the factory one that they gave me but you can see how close it was to the this is basically the setting for like with an ac but to be honest with you, I could have either or. I could adjust it either or. I could even go one more and cut another one if I wanted to, if this isn't good enough. You know, they said online from a post from like 15 years ago, they were like, hey, you know, just drill a hole, you know, just drill a pilot hole for where the other one's at so it could be multi-adjustable. So we got a bunch of belts that I bought from Advanced Auto Parts, all different types of sizes. What I ended up coming up with was the uh, the 5060725. Um, actually, 73 inch would be would have been even better. But I ended up muscling this on, and it's kind of crazy because it's got a a hex socket. So I ended up using this three ace socket um, right here. And this you can see it goes in the power steering panel. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, and you can muscle the belt on. Um, and then I had to take the tensioner and move it up. But now that the tensioner's down, puts a little tension on it. I mean, this belt's legitimately too too tight, sort of. But you gotta do what you gotta do. It's gonna stretch a little bit, and that'll be okay. But all we gotta do is plug the alternator in, plug our fan back in, make sure the coolant's topped off, and this car will run again. Yeah, we live dangerously around here. Check it one time. Sorry, everybody. We'll get this fan mounted now. And we'll be able to drive it and test it to see if the belt's going to break or whatever. All right, so we figured we'd take it for a ride real quick. Mainly what I'm interested in paying attention to is my heat and my amp gauge. And the reason why I'm interested in that stuff is because this new pulley system and this new front accessories on the front I need to make sure that the belt's not going to slip off and mess up so if that belt flies off or breaks I'll know because I'll see the alternator belt or the alternator and it'll just go straight down and obviously the car will get hot pretty quick because the water pump's not moving either so we're going to have a little fun with it we're going to beat snot out of it make sure the belt don't fly off and then we're gonna prepare to put that other supercharger unit on. Tapping a pan, setting up the feed, getting closer to making power. <laughs> 